It just, it just stuns me. The court laid out state laws criminalizing abortion that go back to the 1800s <laughs> as rationale. The court literally taking America back 150 years. This is a sad day for the country, in my view. But it doesn't mean the fight's over. This fall, Roe is on the ballot. Personal freedoms are on the ballot. The right to privacy, liberty, equality, they're all on the ballot. Until then, I will do all of my power to protect a woman's right in states where they will face the consequences of today's decision. As the Attorney General has made clear, women must re remain free to travel safely to another state to seek care they need. My administration will defend that bedrock right. If any state or local official, high or low, tries to interfere with a woman's ex exercise in her basic right to travel, I will do everything in my power to fight that deeply un-American attack. With this decision, the conservative majority of the Supreme Court shows how extreme it is, how far removed they are from the majority of this country. They made the United States an outlier among developed nations in the world. But this decision must not be the final word. My administration will use all of its appropriate lawful powers. But Congress must act. And with your vote, you can act. You can have the final word. This is not over. Thank you very much. More to say this in weeks to come. Thank you.